At the start of 2019, I travelled to Finland to study abroad for a semester. One year later, I was given a student grant to return and conduct some research for my thesis. This video will explore my journey and how it inspired the outcome of my honours project. I'm Jordan and I'm from Edinburgh in Scotland. During my third year at Edinburgh Napier University, I took part in the Erasmus Plus exchange abroad. I headed to the city of Lati in Finland to study at the world-renowned LAMP University of Applied Sciences. When I arrived it was about minus 20 degrees on average. I had never experienced a place so beautiful and so cold. It wasn't long before my classes began though. My field of study was interaction design. In a nutshell, it's thinking about how people use technologies such as smartphones or websites and improving their experience. LAMP University was an amazing place to study, with incredible resources and engaging, friendly and helpful lecturers. This made the academic side of a semester abroad so much more exciting and worthwhile. However, while there were great systems in place to support international students in their studies, when it came to finding new places to discover or activities during free time, there was little help or direction. Many students would end up in the same routine, going between university, a local shop, and their student accommodation, which was also often missing a lot of essential items such as bedding or kitchenware. To address these issues and help students engage with their new surroundings, I wanted my project to support students in uncovering and exploring new places, providing local information and exciting challenges. The best way to gather information for this idea was to return to Finland and the university I studied at. By receiving a student grant, I was able to fly back to Finland a year after my first visit to complete this research trip. In January 2020, I arrived back in Finland. This time, the temperature was 5 degrees on average, 30 degrees warmer than my previous year in January. I was greeted with no snow and the lake was already melting, which took until April the previous year. The university had changed too, now renamed Lab University of Applied Sciences. I spent a couple of days at the university's iWeek, where speakers from all over the world come to promote their international courses to the Finnish students. Two lecturers from Napier were also there, and spending time with a range of international staff members was an amazing experience. During one of my days at the university, I interviewed Dilek Korkmaz, head of the student union, to ask her the common issues that she sees international students having. From her suggestions, I was able to decide what kind of support my idea would need for students to have a better experience abroad. This led me to design and prototype a mobile app called Student Explorer. It focused on key areas that students need support in, breaking them down into the sections New Adventure, Free Roam and Get Ideas. From these three options, a user could follow a map to find new and exciting places, explore freely with support from the map, find items they needed to buy in local stores, or ask questions in a communal forum with native students. The resulting prototype provided a great template that could be used by international universities to support their students from lots of different cultural backgrounds. Studying abroad, while one of the most challenging things I've ever done, was also one of the most rewarding. Creating the service was my way of wondering how this experience could be made more accessible and life-changing for others in the future. From my semester abroad and the further research due to the student grant, this project was able to think about how technology can be used not just to help with the studying side of a semester abroad, but also the adventurous opportunity to thrive in a new environment, and discovering things that are unique and truly life-changing. I hope that the future of student exchanges can benefit from our ever-increasing use of technology, inspiring discovery, exploration and international partnership.